Hey everybody, welcome back to the Division 2. Uh, we're plugging away through our Platinum Trophy walkthrough, and I finally got John back on commentary again. So hopefully yes. uh, all is good on that end. Let's, um, we're going to do this drone crash shade mission, side mission, and then we're going to make our way to Lincoln Memorial. And I think, actually, the Lincoln Memorial by, might be the last one we need to do to get this. Oh, no, we got to do that Potomac event center as well to do this level 28 stronghold. Um, what about this one? What do we need to do to get to this one? Lincoln, oh, same thing. So once we do these two missions here, we can do the strongholds and then we'll have another couple side missions and main missions we can do. But we're very, very close to the end game now. Yeah, yeah we are. We're getting there and hopefully we can start earning some trophies finally. Exactly. Yeah, I feel like I haven't earned a trophy because well, oh. I think last time I played it, right? Yeah, last time we played it, we got majority of the tro like the simple trophies just for playing the story, basically. Yeah. I think the one that could potentially take us a long, t long time of grinding is getting those snitch cards. They call them. They're uh, the playing cards yeah. that you get from the named enemies in the world. Because I think you I need a, you need a full deck. I think which is what fifty two cards or something. Yeah. Which could take you a really long time. So we got to make sure we work at that. I'm going to toss this Seeker Mine again. I'll throw mine after yours, if there's enemy stuff. I didn't realize when you increase your skill tier on your... Oh. Okay, I'm going to throw mine now. When you increase your skill tier on the skills, it actually increases how many clusters there are from your mine. Yeah. I didn't know that either, actually. Oh, that was a good headshot. Yeah, this gun has, like, some kind of aim assist, I think. The lever action, it definitely does, but it only it only takes effect when you're closer to the enemies. Because if they're yeah. too far away, it doesn't work. I noticed that yesterday. Yeah. Is that me or you? Was what? Said somebody needs medical assistance. Oh, probably me because I jumped down. Oh. Oh, got some lockers here. A lighter. And a hammer. Ooh. I switched back to the designated hitter. Did I tell you that? No, he didn't. Yeah, yesterday I found uh, a level 30 de designated hitter and I decided because my armor has um, marksman rifle damage increase, I might as well for now until yeah. I find. So if you end up finding some high-end gear that has rifle damage increase, then let me know. Yeah, for sure. And then maybe I'll make the switch. So you're not using your lever action anymore? I'm, st I'm still using it just to increase the proficiency on it, but I'm not using it when I'm doing missions and stuff. But once we get to the end game, I, I want to try to get an exotic lever action if I can. Me too. I only have the the one called... Uh, oh, what is it called? It's got that snake wrapped around it. Oh, yeah. I think I had that too. But that one does way less damage than like just my high-end one I'm using. Does it? Yeah. Way less damage. Why is there an enemy in front of us? Where is he? Oh. Oh, I got him already. Oh, we have to get up there? Yeah, we. we I think we have to go this way. Oh, you're right. Yeah, an enemy. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, so I like uh, all the different like armor in this game. Yep. I don't know why I jumped down. Oh, I guess I had to anyway. Like you're talking the uh, the actual like body armor. Yeah. Like this one I'm wearing. 
it has my like mask on it if you look my mask is on my guy's side which is actually kind of cool oh really yeah i didn't even notice that before oh, damn it it overheated uh, i'll throw my secret mine I'd like a big guy to show up so that I can eat his armor down with this gun. I hear ya. Reach civilians. That was me. Oh, this thing's glitched. Oh, there we go. I just jumped. I just jumped down. Yeah. Uh oh. There you go, sniper's down. Uh, maybe I'll throw my seeker mine again. Yeah. Ah, oh, I can't throw it in the water there. Oh, it's. Oh, yeah, we can't even cross here. No, we have we to gotta, go around. We gotta run all the way around. I almost feel like I should maybe go grab my turret, but... Yeah. Oh, there we go. I'll just deactivate it. Hopefully it... 25 seconds, not bad. Where's it telling us to go? Right here. They have a crane. We had to... Oh! Now we come up here. Yeah, it has this guy hanging upside down. Yeah. Scan body. Ah, damn it. I'm gonna put my turret... Yeah, there's bad guys coming. I'll put my turret right there on the... Hopefully it can hit some of them. Oh yeah. I have like shock mo rounds in my gun. Nice. One thing that I noticed about this, uh, playing this game rather than the first one. Yeah. Uh, we're not getting nearly as many commendations. No. I noticed most like, of them are just tied to like, mission, like the one was, uh, get so many headshots during this mission on hard mode. Yeah. Stuff like I that. I agree. So they're all quite, they're, they're more like challenges kind of thing. Yeah. Which is actually kind of cool. Yeah, I agree. They're not just like... I mean, I think there are there are simple ones like get so many rifle kills, stuff like that. But I think we probably got them all already. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Ooh, search these lockers. Man. Ooh. Yeah. Never getting any high-end gear lately. I know, neither am I. It's all purple. All Every purple st all purple stuff. Yeah. I wonder why. The heck? Oh, you have to... Oh, we're grabbing a shade thing. Yeah. Have you been working on getting all the different variants of your skills and stuff and using them all to get the trophy? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, because it'll be cool to have uh, the platinum pot for both of us. Yeah, I agree. I have to equip the different one soon, but... Yeah. I think I got it. I used all of it for the turret. Eventually I'll do it for the seeker mine. I haven't really, I don't yeah. think I've unlocked any more seeker mine stuff. But I'm going to make sure to do that soon. Okay, I'm going to put my turret right here. Shoot the guy in the shield with the shield. Oh, yeah. Oh my goodness. There we go. There we go. 
Look at that. I'm just gonna go up here quick, grab this gear that he dropped. Yep. Although it's purple, probably pointless. Yeah, I hear ya. All the gear that I got this mission was purple. I think I got one high end thing. Yeah, I didn't get, I didn't even get a single one. There we go, that's done. So now let's move on to the Lincoln Memorial, which will also Down give here. us a camp campus settlement upgrade. Oh nice. I'm actually kind of curious what the store like the, when you actually played a little bit more into the end game than I did when the Black Tusk takes over. Yeah. Um, do, do the missions because essentially every mission becomes available again, right? And all the control points and stuff like that become available again to. I you think honestly, it's been like so long since I've played it. To be honest, like. I don't even remember like how the end game works. I does it remember does it was... have do do like the missions have stories though? Do you remember? I th I think they do, but I could be wrong. Yeah. Like I said, it's it's been years since I played. Even in the end game. Yeah, like we made it to the end game once, and I remember because I don't know why I ended up. I can't remember what game came out, but I decided to just drop it completely. Yeah. There's a big guy over here. Let's go kill him before we. He'll drop something purple for us. Yeah, probably. Yep. Purple. Some knee pads. I'm still getting level 28 gear. Oh, I know. Me too. I think it's because this zone is level 28. Oh, yeah, probably. Okay, we're not doing this supply drop. No. We'll just run around it this way. Sounds good. Oh, there's four crates in that one. Do they all have four crates? Because sometimes there's only three when I get there. Um, I think if there's... Because I feel like every time I do the supply drops on my own, yeah. there's only three. But if I'm in your world with you, then there's four. Maybe it has to do with how many players? I think I think it is, yeah. I like this area of the map. Yeah, it looks cool. Eh? Yeah, it's very op feels very open. And... Yeah. I'd like some named enemies to start spawning. Yeah, me too. Yeah, and I think once uh, once we finish this game, I think we've made the decision to also get the platinum for Ghost Recon Wildlands. So that's exciting. Yeah, I I've never actually never. No, you've you've never played it, and I've only made it probably past the first few minutes. I can't remember how far I got. I killed the first boss, I think, and then started driving to the next zone. And I just I don't know. I gave up on it for some reason. But it is a very yeah. it is a very fun game. Yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about it. And luckily, it actually has a fairly decently easy platinum. Oh really? By right the on. looks by the looks of it, yeah. It's like a lot a lot of the trophies are kind of tied to collectibles and weapon because you find a lot of weapons and stuff like that in little crates yeah it's not like the division where you get gear and stuff like you mostly find um weapons and attachments basically yeah but the trophies are tied to i know one of them is like like combat challenges almost so kill a named or kill a named enemy kill a helicopter with a, a mortar or something like that yeah. Is one of the trophies, so. Oh, yeah, I remember for Breakpoint, one of the uh, trophies is to shoot um, the driver of a helicopter with a sniper rifle. Yeah, and that's not even that hard. I did that so many times. Yeah, me too. I think I got that trophy, actually. Me too. I, I know there's one. I think I already have it as well in Breakpoint. Oh, crap. That's to kill us. Oh. You're I'll down. I'll just load on. Yeah, I'll yeah just load, just on, load on me. Um, there's one in Breakpoint or in Wildlands for killing a sniper with a handgun. Yeah. And I already have it unlocked, so it can't be that hard to get. So we'll have to make sure you get that one. Yeah, I agree. All right, Desert. level 28. Desert in combat? Oh, there's enemies all over the place. 
Uh, hang on. Spawn on you. Hang on. There's no enemies around me, but just give me a second. I'm going to see if I can get somewhere where they... Hang on. Can you spawn on the... Okay, good. Oh yeah, there we go. Um, oh. All, All right, nice. Lincoln Memorial, here we go. Sounds good. Yeah, I kind of got overzealous there and there was like a lot of enemies that just surrounded me. Yeah. It's happened to me too. Oh. Yeah. Didn't realize they were all coming out. Oh, I used mine too. Probably a waste. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I didn't even know that. Sorry. No, no. That's okay. Oh. Yep, more are coming. Peek your head out. I feel like this assault rifle has a small clip. Yeah. Hopefully we can get a clip like in the first game. Well, by the looks of it, I have quite a few unlocked. And we're already almost to the end game. And I yeah. still have a list like twice the size, so there's still a lot yeah. more to unlock. I wonder if you can get um, like legendary mods or not. Well, when it, once you upgrade your workbench to craft exotic, I bet they'll come out exotic. Oh, yeah. Right? Like, you're, they, when you craft them, they become whatever tier your workbench is. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I forgot. But I don't know if you even craft... I don't know if you actually upgrade your bench to exotic or not, or if you just use your high-end bench. Yeah. Oh. Get off the cover, my goodness. Oh, I hate when these guys, they, they're like running and they're about to take cover and then they'll just literally take a 180 and just book it in a different direction out of nowhere. Oh, I know. It's like the AI decides to take cover somewhere else and then just physics yeah. completely leaves the equation and they... Okay, looks like there's somebody laying there. Oh, yeah. There we go. Um. Alright, what are we doing? Actually, Secure memorial exterior. That was really weird. What? I, I thought I found a new backpack, but I guess I didn't. Might have been a mod? Yeah, probably. Oh, oh there they all are. Is the cell phone underground or is it on top? I have no idea. I don't know either. I'll throw mine too. Nice. Oh, I, I hate when they ex when they reach them and they explode, but they don't do any damage. Yeah, I agree. I've been using this AK-47 quite a bit, and it's still not... Oh, crap. You know it's still, really, really it's still not proficient, proficiency level 1 yet. Oh, I know. The guns take a long time. Anyway, you know what's, what's, re what's really weird? So, um, when I went into the dark zone, my uh, exotic assault rifle... Yeah. It only did, I think... It was like 50,000 damage, it said, or 60,000. Yeah. But yet, I found an assault rifle in the dark zone, which was only high-end, and it did 86,000. But yet, when I was out of the dark zone, it only did like 8,000 normal damage or something. Wow. And my exotic did way more. But yet, in the, like, in the dark zone, that 
a assault rifle was stronger than my exotic. That's strange. Maybe you just equipped a different piece of gear that put up a different gun or something and you didn't realize it? I don't know. I Maybe. Oh. Oh yeah, there's Throw lots of them. Mine. Damn it. Throw in my seeker mine. Did you throw yours too? No, I just threw put my turret here. Okay. I'll pick it up. Oh, there's more coming anyway. Damn it. Oh, proficiency up. 511 nice. tactical, that's one of my pieces of armor, I think. Yeah. Okay, there's someone in here. There's the terminal. It says there's a black tusk box somewhere near us. Oh, really? Yeah. Weird. I wonder when we can start getting the keys. I have no idea, actually. Maybe they're just probably. a really rare drop? Yeah, prob probably the end game, I would say. Can we get in here? No, I don't think so. Hi, right here, probably right. Oh. Oh, a magnum. Nice. Go ahead. Let's check this magnum. Yep. Oh, it does a little bit. Well, I'm not oh, gonna. Right, I'm not gonna switch it. Cell phone is down in this. Uh, down there somewhere. Yeah. I'm surprised there's no uh, trophies attached to to uh, the collectibles. Yeah. Is that a nope? Oh, and I, alert, I alerted them. Oh. Here's one. Okay. You see any, uh... Um... No, I don't. No, that's not it. Hmm. Weird. Oh, no. right here. Oh. There we go. More will probably come. Yeah, maybe I'll throw down mine. Oh. We're doing pretty good. Yep, yeah, not too bad. When we play it on hard mode, that'll be the that'll be the deciding factor. Oh, there's another room yeah. here. Is I that see a it. cell phone too up there? Yeah, it's up top. A lot of cell phones in this mission. Yep. Yeah. Um, so let me look at this quick. 
Okay, I'm just gonna check my... Are you using an SMG or a... Uh, I'm using rifle? an assault rifle right now. Okay. I hope I can eventually find a uh, exotic SMG. Oh, here's a black tusk. Oh, no, this is a true sons. Yeah, let's get it anyway. Alright. Shotgun and a mod. Yeah, I got a... I think it's a rifle. The heck's going on? Oh, yeah, it's a sniper. I don't know. Close the tunnel gate. Oh. This looks like an area where lots of enemies are going to spawn. Yeah. Throwing Th down my uh, secret mine. Did you throw yours? Oh crap. I didn't realize there were enemies down there. Yeah, there's a bunch. I'll throw mine. Yep. Oh. Right on. Oh. Oh. I meant to grab my thing, not jump. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Oh, there's another one of these. This guy dropped blue gear for me. So there's... Really? Wow. Oh, this door here. There we go. Weapon case in here. Uh, Classic M60. Um... Okay, what are we? Oh, it's waiting for you. Oh, sorry. Oh, grenades, armor, probably, yeah. It won't let me restock. It keeps glitching. No, it keeps glitching. I mean, I'm weird. sure I'm probably good, but. Oh. Oh, crap. I'm going to throw mine when more come. If they come. Oh, they'll come. Oh, it's a... Oh, there's a named guy. But he doesn't drop cards, I don't think. They have to be out in the world. Yeah. Oh, another, oh, another one. one. Look at that, John. It's like we're brothers. We're finishing each other's... Laundry. <laughs> I thought you were going to say dinner. Dinner. Oh, I haven't seen that movie in so long. Tom Ryan. Tom oh. Ryan. He's my favorite. Oh, he is highly underrated character in like a terrible scary movie. Agreed. He was basically the first scary movie. What was that? Scary movie 4, right? Yep. He uh, he was definitely the thing that held that movie together. Oh, I agree. He was the funniest one in the whole movie. Yeah. Uh, I just kind of want to check over here and make sure there's no, like, foul phones or anything that we're going to miss. You know, when we're on the topic of movies, I, uh, I got into the kick of watching a bunch of old parody movies that we used to love when we were kids. Oh, yeah? And uh, I watched Disaster Movie. Yeah. Has to be one of the worst movies ever made. Oh, that movie? I don't know how. I don't know. I'm heard. pretty sure we used to laugh out loud to that movie. I know. I remember laughing. And I, and and I, watched, I watched it the other day, and I'm like, holy crap, this is bad. Yeah, it's just, like, so cringy, and the jokes are just, like... It's, cr it's cringy. Know. It's, like, uh, almost to the point where it's, like, it almost feels like it was written by, like... Uh, a 12 year old not to offend anybody but yeah i agree honestly oh i got an apparel cash key i mean it's it's can it's on the imdb list of like movies that are sitting at quite low scores so i'm sure everybody knows how bad it is so yeah but uh it definitely doesn't hold up to the uh early scary movie no oh we definitely can recruit not. oh we can get the recalibration station now sweet i know uh my Oh, and then there's a couple of side missions too we can get. Yeah. I know I mean that. I don't I don't know if we'll record the side mission just because they're quite 
like the first one, they're a bit they're a bit repetitive and simple. Yeah. Recruit Emma. No, I was gonna say um, like a movie that actually really made me laugh. Yeah. Was uh, Vampires Suck. Yes, that I think Vampires Suck was the last good parody movie that's come out. Yeah, it was so funny. There are definitely there are some scenes in there that make me laugh out loud. Oh, me too. It's it's just it doesn't. I feel like it's really like the humor in it is actually like classic kind of, you know, like it feels like one of those classic, uh, what's it called? Like one of those classic comedies that just had like good, like good jokes and just, yeah. you know what I mean? Like the, the jokes, they didn't seem cringy. They didn't seem forced. It just, oh, I agree. Yeah. We got new projects yeah. too. Hey, oh, really? Yeah. Grab this mission. Uh, Maybe we'll try to do a quick side mission to finish off the video if we can. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll get this side mission right here. Oh, you got... Okay. It works like yeah. that. Okay. Um, okay, let me just quickly check... Check out the uh, projects quick. Alright, we're at, we're at about 31 minutes, looks like. Yep. So, let's make our way. We have two side missions to do, so if we fast travel, we might be able to get them done before the hour's up. Yeah, let's do it. Miss, missing campus patrol, let's do it. So, fast travel yep. on me, on this control point, the nest. Yep. Yeah, vampires suck, I really enjoyed that one. Yeah, I laughed. I laughed at it, man. It's a. It's I it's agree. got some it's got some great comedy writing. It does, yeah. I'm trying to think too. Um, do you remember Epic Movie? Yeah, I, I haven't watched that one in a while. I think that one can still hold up with some of the comedy, but. Yeah, because I, I think as long as that, I, I think that's one though where you have to kind of turn your mind off and just enjoy it for what it is. Yeah. You know, it's definitely not it's not as bad as disaster movie. But not as good as Vampires Vampire Suck Star. or uh, Scary Movie One and Two. Yeah. Actually Scary Movie Three is also good. Oh yeah. I actually like that one too. Me too. I like uh Yeah, because I was trying to th like I remember Epic Movie being really funny, but I can't really go by what I remember because I like like you were saying, like we used to laugh at disaster movie. And it's yeah, just, well, it has epic movie. Still has a couple scenes where you know it can induce a a laugh out of me. Yeah, but it's definitely not as good as like scary movie one and two and all yeah. those old classics. Oh yeah. Back in the sewer. Interesting. Uh -huh. Oh, never mind. I thought that was... I got real excited. I saw something glowing and I thought it was a weapons case. Oh. oh. But it wasn't. We got some guys here. I'm going to toss my... I'll actually use my turret if I can. I'll throw right. it right there. I'm going to throw... It's doing damage, but I feel like it... it's not doing as much damage as it used to. I it must might have, just be like... I might have lowered um, my skill tier by accident. Yeah. Wow. They just keep coming. They do. Okay, there's a high-end gear up here for me. Oh, nice. They don't drop often, so I gotta grab them when I can. Yeah, I know, I hear ya. Like I said, everything I've been getting is purple. What happens uh, if I go in here? I think that's where the mission leads you, isn't it? Yeah, but... You have to turn the... yeah. Oh, I thought there would be a weapon case in here. Guess okay, not. if the mission ends, 
soon we might be able to get the second side mission done in this video as well. Sounds good. But we'll see what happens. Oh. Oh. I was about to shoot that guy up top. Yeah. Oh. Are we supposed to talk to her? Oh, yeah. Can't believe they didn't animate the mouths to move. I know, that's so weird. That's Ubisoft. I feel like that was just laziness on their part because, like, this game isn't even old, you know what I mean? Yeah. They put, like, you look at the the detail in the first division game right like yeah it's a thing with ubisoft some like they're so hit and miss with their games sometimes oh, like yeah. this this new skull and bones just looks absolutely like awful yeah to be honest i haven't even seen anything on it it had it has a cool well i mean you think black flag right yeah. like could have been insane had insane potential yeah Black Flag was amazing. Oh, yeah. But if I'm being honest, this new Star Wars game... Like, people are... I saw a TikTok the other day with this new... They were showing some gameplay for this new... Star Wars Outlaws. Yeah. And people are like, this almost looks like like it can't be made by Ubisoft. It looks too good. Yeah. With that gameplay. And I'm like, it's true. It does look... Hopefully this is Ubisoft's redeeming moment. Yeah, honestly. And hopefully they... Uh, I, uh, I wonder if there's going to be a character creation in that one. I don't think so. It looks to me like you play as that... I forget her name. Yeah. But she looks cool enough anyway. Yeah. But I know a lot of people were disappointed that there was no character creation. And it's kind of true. Like in a open world Star Wars RPG, especially of that caliber. Yeah. Creating your own character of different races and stuff would have been amazing. Would have. But, I mean, I understand Ubisoft's reasoning for it. Like, you know, wanting to uh, tell a story of a specific person. Yeah. So I understand that, that perspective as well, I guess. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I do too, but it's there's one a of those door, things. There's a like, gate here that we can open. I, I love when you can just create your own character, you know, and... Well, that's why, that's why you gotta, things. gotta try to get yourself a gaming PC and go play the MMO. I know, I really want to. The MMO is quite fun. I played it quite a bit. I, I never yeah. got, like, deep, deep into it. I never did any of the multiplayer stuff, and... I just played it for a few hours of the campaign. Yeah. And it's it's fun. Yeah, I really wanna I really wanna check it out. Yeah. That should be it. Maybe not. What's going on? Oh, oh there, there we go. go. Campus upgrade. Awesome. So I got a couple of blueprints, I think, from these last couple missions. Oh, I got a arrow cache key. So we got two more main missions, looks like. And then this point of interest um, from a side mission that I did in between videos. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to donate some stuff here. Now I'll donate these high end, I don't care. I need to complete some activities in the foggy bottom area. Ah, oh, every time. I always get, uh... Okay, I'm gonna go back to the White House. I wanna go check out this recalibration station. Yeah, yeah, actually me too. Um... I'll meet you there. I think you can. What is it? Your talents or your what? Or your uh, 
Attributes you can change on your gun, I can't remember. I actually don't remember either. Every time for the last like three apparel cash keys I've gotten, yeah, they've all been emotes. You know what? I think I have one. Let me, let me open it. Hang on. How do you do that? Oh, apparel. Yeah. Yeah, I do have one. Let's open it. Oh, There's something high guy. end. High end boots. Nice. Are They're they actually cool? quite. Yeah, they are cool. I'm gonna equip them. Cool. Okay, uh -huh. what was I? Oh, I'm gonna. The recalibration. Check station. her. See if she got any new. Nope. Let's craft some of these new mods. So we have. Yes. Oh, I got two new clips. I can. Oh, this one's good. Oh yeah. 20 oh, that's, rounds that's... plus reload speed. This is for 9mm SMG weapons. Yeah, that's really good. And then 20% stability. Oh, and then this one's... For what type of weapons? 762 assault style weapons. So that might nice. be good. That's it. That's all I got. Alright. Now where's this? Oh. Emma Richards recalibration. Is a way to modify stat or talent on an item. It can also increase the gear score in the process. By recalibrating items, you move a stat or talent from an unwanted item to a new item. Oh! Okay. Well, that makes sense. And now we can do expertise. Okay. And what's expertise? Do? This is where you donate stuff. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then that. optimization. Sweet. So yeah, this is a good thing to unlock. So now we can start. So if I have my assault rifle, core attribute, extract. So yeah, you can extract these things. Assault rifle damage. Interesting. I don't get yeah. it. Like, how do I... How do I actually donate, though? I don't... You press L... You have to donate materials, it says. So your high-end... Hang on. Yeah, so, like, like, let's say you want to do your... Oh, lever okay, action. You, you Yeah, you donate. So you, I can donate... Well, a like, lot. If I donate my lever action, I lose it, right? You're not donating your lever action. I just don't. I didn't mean to do. I just donated all my receiver components. I didn't mean to do that. I was just testing it out. I'll have to get some more. But yeah, and you increase your proficiency that way. Yeah. Oh, I wanted to. Recalibration station. I wanted to do so assault rifle. I actually want to take, I have to extract a talent. Killing an enemy repairs 10% armor, that's pretty good. I kind of want that. I don't know. We'll figure all that out later. Oh, uh, this is really cool. What's that? This, if you go on expertise. Yeah. And you're lo I'm looking at all the items I can research, and there's this uh, lever action called the Virginian. Oh, yeah. And it's a high-end lever action, but, like, it's different than the one we have. It looks really cool. Nice. Yeah. Let me just check this. Doesn't look like I have any projects I can turn in. No? No. We might have to do some bounties, too, I think, eventually. Yeah. But I think this is honestly another good spot for us to end our video. Um, so, John, when we come back, hopefully you can get your mic on again. And we can try to do another couple missions. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, but uh, take care, guys, and we'll see you guys in the next video.